Welcome to the series of treatment approaches for photological disorders. Let's talk about minimal pair contrast therapy. This therapy approach starts at the word level using pairs of words that are different by one sound. These pairs of words are called minimal pairs. The sounds that are different in these words have to have as many articulation similarities as possible. This is where your knowledge of phonetics comes in. The sounds can be different by one or two phonetic production features, either place, manner, or voicing. This therapy approach is most appropriate for clients who are stimulable for the target sound. This means that they should be able to say the sound you're trying to target. So for example, if your client is substituting t for k, they should be able to say that k sound by itself. This is not a therapy approach that you would use for clients who have a lot of articulation errors and a lot of phonological processing errors. How do you pick targets? After you've evaluated your client, the number one thing that you need to think about is finding their errors and the sounds that they should be producing for that error. Those form the basis for your minimal pair words. If you have a lot of different errors, line them all up and count the differences between place, manner, and voicing. Choose targets that have the least number of differences between place, manner, and voicing. Remember, we're shooting for ones that only have one difference, maximum of two. If you do have a lot of different errors, choose the earliest developing sounds, then think about the sounds that affect their intelligibility the most, and stimulable sounds always have priority. So once you've decided on your targets, create your minimal pair word lists. After you've created the minimal pair word list, follow these treatment steps. There are four. The first one is making sure that your client knows the words that you're presenting. So you can ask questions about the words and have them point to the correct one. The second step is discrimination. So we wanna make sure that they can hear the difference between the two sounds. So you say the word and then your client points to the correct picture. The third step is called production training. This is when the client gets to be the teacher. You have them say the word and then you point to the correct picture. The fourth step in the program is called carryover training. This is when they have mastered the minimal pair words and then you're gonna start building from the word level to the phrase level to the sentence level. This treatment approach has a specific sequence that they want you to follow, and here it is. A plus the word, the plus the word, touch the plus the word, point to the plus the word, and then you move into longer expressions. And that's it, that's the minimal pair contrast approach. If you have any questions about this therapy approach, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with future content. Have an amazing day.